Hi, my name is Tara Toy, and today I sat the Leaving Cert Higher Level Irish Paper 2. Um, I feel like this exam, it wasn't too difficult, but it also didn't overcomplicate the questions and the wording in the questions. Um, so first of all, you had to choose between Comprehension A and Comprehension B. I did Comprehension A. Uh, you went on then to choose between the Filioct and the Prose, again, which was a great choice. So I did the Prose and I did Crack and Mullish, and I was really happy with the question that came up there. And then for the final section, I did Antrail, which was what we had studied in class. So I feel like overall, the paper didn't overcomplicate the wording of the questions, but it also did test your knowledge on the topics. So I feel like overall, this was a fair paper. Hi, it's Misha Olivia, August Home Frasto Learn School Dara. In you, Rinamema Scrudu Gelga, Popper Do. August Home Kind Fui Scrudu Show. So this is the paper here, and overall I thought it was very nice. There wasn't really any surprises. So for the Lave Hishkind, we could pick between A or B this year because of COVID allowances. So I decided to do both because I had time at the end. So that means that my best one will be marked out of 50. Um, I thought they were very nice. Question six was actually lovely on both of them. Um, for A, we only had to pick two traits about Mora McEntee. And then for B, we just had to discuss whether we liked the comprehension or not. With I thought it was a very broad question. It was really nice. And it was on Kyo Tradishun to Naharan as well, which I thought was a very accessible topic for lots of people. Moving on to question two and three, we could pick between prose or poetry. And I myself did the poetry question because I found it easier. I was delighted to see that Colescore came up and I have to say I am one of the students who was kind of banking on Colescore so I was delighted to see it there. I thought the questions were lovely, there was no surprises, it was very like the questions um, that have come up in the past on this poem. Uh, then moving on to the Livery of Bresh, um, I did Entreal and I thought the question was really nice, it focused on Morani Kohasig and Padre McCarthy and how he had full control over her emotions. And I thought it was a very easy and accessible question and I thought I was able to get a lot out of it, which was good. So overall, um, I'm really happy with how Irish went, both paper one and paper two. Dave Corja, Elne Kalis and Dum, August Rastalim, or Skolan Yenefa, in Mali Herbadorn. Hi everyone, my name is Elna McCahill and I attend St Anne Secretary School in Tipperary Town and today I did Irish Paper 2. So I started with Comprehension 1. Usually you have to do both, but I chose to do Comprehension 1 because I like to look at the questions. Uh, all the questions were really good, even 6A, which was the grammar question. So you had to do a breher in the Mokanilok and a breher in I'm sure Oshnock. Then you had to do 6B, which was the question on two traits on Varavakati, the person who's being talked about in the extract. Um, all those questions were really easy to find and a really good answer. Then I moved on to poems and stories. Usually you have to answer on both, but this year we had the option of doing one or the other. So I chose to do poetry. Uh, I was looking for Colescar or Gavin to come up, and thankfully Colescar came up. Um, and the questions on that, you were asked about the poet, you are asked about the two outlooks of both the people um, on marriage uh, in the poem, and then you were also asked about the effectiveness of the last two lines in the poem. Uh, all those questions were really easy to answer and I found it lovely to have a poem that I really liked to come up. And then you do the literary Brescia, which was the extra reading on top of your poems and stories. So our school chose to do on trail. Um, this question was a little bit funny because we weren't sure whether to ask, answer on uh, more on Mora or more on Podrick because it was asking about like the effect that uh, Podrick had on Mora and how she was blind to what he was doing because of the, how much love she had for him. So it was more of like a half and half type situation. Uh, but other than that, uh, all the questions were really nice and everyone I talked to really liked the paper. Um, and I hope it was okay for everyone else. And if you have any exams left, uh, good luck. And if you're finished, um, well done and getting to the end. Hey, my name's Greta Thornton and I'm from Loretto, Letterkenny in Donegal. And I just finished the ordinary level Irish paper two, and I thought it was a really good paper overall. Like honestly, I thought it was a really fair paper to what we've actually done in class, and yeah, I just thought I presented like the best that we could do. Um, two reading comprehensions were really really nice. Kyol was a really good one to come up, and um, yeah, it was just really nice, like simple ones to do. And then we either had to do two prose, two poetry, or one of each. So. In prose, there was Oshinijirinog, Her Lambuk, Jeet, and poetry, it was 
and Spoppy and Fanuk and Tarek here and Koskaru. I did Oshini Dear Nog, her land book and Antarak here as I had a bit of extra time. And yeah, I thought the layout of them was like pretty much like the other years. Um and I just thought it was like just really good that those came up because I actually did those really well. So I was very pleased with it and a lot of my friends that I've spoken to were really pleased with it as well. And I hope the higher level one went well as well. Hi, my name is Ashley Alazeli and I'll be talking about biology leave um higher level which I took this afternoon. I found it quite accessible and easy, which was more surprising. It was for me it was quite different from the exam papers like short questions was quite different from the exam papers that I always used to practice on mostly the food as we always know it comes up every year it's question number one it was quite different because it mostly focused on protein which really took me a, a shock so i just decided to go and do long questions and i found the long questions more easier than the short question which took me by surprise a little bit so did my friends as well who also took the exam they also were surprised about how easy how easy and accessible the long questions were than the short questions but overall it was a really good exam we all talking about we're all taken by surprise about how easy it was how easy we were to do it so yeah thank you for listening Chief Vicarja, my name is Jamie McElwain and I am just after sitting the higher level biology paper for 2022. So I thought that uh, biology is, biology is usually one of my strongest subjects going into exams. Um, I want to become a doctor, so I would have to be good at biology uh, for the leaving cert. But I think that uh, I do kind of avoid maybe genetics and plants a lot um, when it comes to my study of biology. Uh, I'm more of an anatomy and physiology type of person and um, photosynthesis, respiration, DNA, that type of stuff. Um, so when I open the paper, um, I'll start with the, the long questions. I think that um, I answered question, well, I answered question 14 on photosynthesis, which is a great question, strong question for me to answer in the interface of mitosis. Um, I, I think it did very well in that question. I also want to answer question 15 on excretion uh, and then homeostasis a tiny bit as well, uh, just on the kidney, the nephron. Um, and then I also, uh, at the bottom of the question that was more about excretion in plants, um, but I did answer that. I think I answered that okay. Um, but then I also answered question 16, parts B and C on the eye and the bones, which are, are two of my strong um, points. And then I also answered question 17, uh, B on human reproduction and D on the heart and blood vessels. The heart and blood vessels is my strongest chapter. So I was, I was lucky to see that come up. Um, I also, going into the exam, I thought that the experiment questions in section B where I only had to do one of them I thought that they were going to be my downfall really but um, I actually answered two of them which uh, which is surprising in my books um, and then also the short questions I, the strong questions weren't very fair, favorable this year um, I don't think that I don't think they went the best I think that, I don't think any I answered most of the short questions but I don't think I answered every aspect every aspect of any question I think there's always one thing that I left out and I just because I didn't know where I took an educated guess um, overall, I'm um, mixed feelings about the paper. It was probably one of my lesser favorite exams um, so far in the leaving cert. Um, but look, biology is behind me now. So the only thing I'm going to have to study biology in the future is hopefully when I'm a doctor. But um, we'll see how this biology paper goes first. Um, but yeah, no, I have uh, French tomorrow. So I have to get uh, studying for that. So thank you very much.